are you divorcing Mello? <laughs> you know, marriages are tough, and mm -hmm. you know that. We mm -hmm. all know that. It's filled with ups and downs, and we're just going through a time right now. But him and I are the best of friends, and our number one commitment is to our son, Cayenne. We have to set an example to Cayenne. I don't know what the future holds. I just know that we are doing an incredible job, again, being parents to our son. Hey, y'all. It's the Sweet Tea Blog, where the tea is ah, so sweet because we have all the sugar and celebrity news. Shout out to the Ball Out, a wonderful blog on Instagram. As you all know, Lala Anthony has filed for divorce from Carmelo Anthony. And you know what I have to say? Woo! It's about time, sister. Yes, I'm so glad she did that. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. I'm glad she did that. Now, I know that they are hoping to have a smooth divorce for the sake of their son, which is very honorable. But uh, Lala, Lala is too pretty, too fine to be sticking around dealing with that man's mess. But anyway, <laughs> here's an article from Essence Online. Lala Anthony reportedly filed for divorce from Carmelo Anthony after 11 years of marriage. Woo! I just heard Mary J. Blige. 11 years of sacrifice. Woo! Lala is not going to cry no more. Now, y'all know to read this article while I'm talking or skimming through it. Okay? It says, but by 2019, they were back on the out. She was poorly to be exploring her options, you know, and all that stuff. They were back and forth, off and on over the years, y'all. Now, what I do like is that uh, Essence uh, uh, went through their, uh, you know, relationship over the years after a wedding picture and just other pictures of when they were at different award shows and events. The nostalgia of it all. It's the nostalgia for me. Look at young Lala and young Carmelo. Look at them. Oh. She stuck by him. Right there, he looked like T.I. in that picture. But anyway, now that's a really nice picture. So, you know, I'm happy for Lala. Glad she did it. Girl, move on. It's time to have a hot girl summer. Girl, you ain't got time for that. Like, sorry, but... Uh, and let me tell y'all my opinion. I And this is my opinion. I don't know this for a fact. I think that with their son graduating from high school and he's and their son is basically, what, 17, 18 years old, pretty much on the brink of 18 years old. Come on now. That boy grown. She like, okay, I done played uh, wifey nice long enough. Goodbye, sir. Our son is about to go to college and have his own life. And I want to have mine. And I'm not going to put up with your stuff no more. We, we done playing house. Goodbye. Our son is off to college. Hit the road, Jack. Because Lala too fine to be dealing with all that. Lala can have any man she want. Come on now. Because when she was on power, they were screaming over her, okay? So good luck, Lala and Carmelo Anthony. Get it together. In other news... Yes, you see who that is, Star, from the hit show Star on Fox, Judith Morris. Judith Morris had a baby, like, and didn't tell nobody. <laughs> but guess what? I don't blame her. That is her business. Yes, boo, you stick to your business, boo. You know, so I'm not even mad at her. I'm happy for her and her husband. Her 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 son is a big brother. That they are boy mom and dads. They are she's a boy mom, and she surprised us with that post on Instagram. And she said his name is Jory, and she said that baby Jory Jory was born on Monday, June fourteenth, two thousand and twenty one. So congrats, Judith Morris, and husband and and son and family. Uh. I don't blame you for keeping it a secret. Best of luck. How sweet. And in other news, Wendy Williams brought much attention back to the nostalgia rapper Foxy Brown, claiming that her and Jay-Z allegedly had a relationship, an affair, hitting the sheets, whatever you want to call it. And Wendy's exact words were, she hit it before Beyonce did. Like, I'm going to put a link in the comments. Wendy get up for that. <laughs> she get up for that. She wrong. Um, Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Do y'all think they have something going on? Because to be honest, I'm like everybody else. I kind of figured him and Foxy Brown had something going on. Like, whatever, <laughs> you know. But anyway, congrats, Judy Morris. Like, I'm so glad Lala has finally moved on. And um, I wonder if Foxy Brown is going to respond to Wendy. So let me know. Do y'all think she's going to respond to Wendy? Lala, I know I'll see you in more places, girl. 
Thank you for tuning in to the Sweet Tea Blog, where the tea is so sweet. To the loo. Bye-bye.